Party. Yeah, we're having to have our party online this week, but that's okay. We're so glad you joined us. Are you ready for the shake
kids, let's review our scripture verse for the month. Give thanks to the Lord because He is good. His faithful love continues forever. Let those who have been set free by the Lord tell their story. Psalm 107, dot, dot, one through two. Now y'all repeat after me this time. Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Because He is good. Because He is good. His faithful love continues forever. His faithful love continues forever. Let those who have been set free let those who have been set free by the Lord, by the Lord, tell their story. Tell their story. Psalm 107. Psalm 107. Dot, dot. Dot, dot. One through two. One through two. All right. On the count of three, let's say it as loud as we possibly can all together. Are y'all ready? One, two, three. Give yeah, thanks, thanks to the Lord because, because he is good. His faithful love continues forever. Let those who have been set free by the Lord tell their story. Psalms 107 dot dot one through two. Great job, everybody. Hello there. Don't you just love parties? I do. When you go to a party, what are some of the sounds you might hear? You might hear people laughing or talking. You might hear happy music. You might hear cheering or singing. What would you think if you walked into a party and it was totally silent? What if no one was talking or laughing or cheering? That wouldn't be a very good party. When we're excited about something, we're usually pretty loud about it. We're loud about our favorite songs, funny jokes, or when we get to see someone we love. Worshiping God is kind of like that too. Today, we're going to hear a story from the Bible about what Jesus said might happen if people were silent and didn't praise him. This story is from the book of Luke in the Bible. Jesus was traveling down the road when a group of people started singing songs about how awesome he was. But there were some other people there who didn't like how loud the others were praising and told Jesus to make them stop. Do you think Jesus listened to them? No. He said if people weren't allowed to sing praises to him, then the rocks would cry out and sing praises instead. That's how much God loves it when we praise him. It sounds pretty crazy that a rock might start talking, but Jesus wanted us to know how good it is when we praise him out loud. Singing is just one of the ways we can worship God. However you worship God, he wants you to do it with all your heart. Can you give me one really loud cheer all at the same time? Let's do it together. One, two, three, woohoo! When we worship God, we can be loud. We can cheer, we can talk, we can sing, and we can dance. We don't want the rocks to worship instead of us. We can worship God out loud. Hey, Life Kids! So the lesson that you just saw talked about the rocks crying out. Oh my goodness, who wants rocks crying out to sing praises to Jesus when we are called to sing our praises to Jesus? So you can take just a few moments, if you would like, to look up Luke chapter 19. 37 through 40. Read that story with your parents. It's super cool because we don't want rocks to cry out. Psalms 105 2 says, sing praises to God even when it's hard, even when you don't want to, sing praises to God. So our bottom line, you can worship God out loud. Sing praises to Him. I love you so much. See you next week. All right, Life Kids family, we love you. We're so thankful that you were here and able to join us today. We hope to see you in person next week. But just in case we don't, you can find us at the same place, same time on clcbham.com. We love you and have a great week. Bye. We love you.